Hey everybody, okay, I'm popping in here for a really quick uh, tips video, if you will. I wanted to share something that I just discovered. If I'm late to the party, forgive me, but I felt this was too exciting not to share. Okay, I went to the Dollar Tree, and you know, I am I like to say I'm frugal. That's the word that we've been throwing out there lately, right? I'm frugal. And I saw this paper right here. This is poster board paper. And I remember using poster board paper, and it's basically just kind of flimsy-ish, but not too thin. And it's got a shiny side and a um, non-shiny side, right? And I thought, hmm, I wonder if that will work with alcohol inks. And so I brought it home, and I tried it out. All right, I'm just going to skip to the goodness because we'll get to the inks. I used it and it works. <laughs> it works just like you, Faux Paper. Okay, but why is that important, right? Why is that important? Because what I just showed you in this pack of poster board paper, you get five pieces and you can cut down one sheet into four five by seven pieces which means, doing public math, you get 20 sheets of this paper for $1. Okay, so I would highly recommend you give it a try because listen, if you come back to it and you say, Mary, I don't know what you were talking about, but that did not work, well then you only spent a dollar plus tax. So right here, I'm going to show you, there is, I don't know if you can see that, there's that shine on the paper. So we're gonna play with, I'm gonna make the same one I just made. Of course I have to use my new pearl inks and I'm gonna be using Celestial and Intrigue as well as throwing in a little bit of this pinata white or Blanco. And Blanco is Spanish for white. I'm shaking them up. All right, and then I'm just gonna start putting them on there. Something flew off onto the paper. I will try to cover that up. So that was the celestial. This is, or that was the intrigue. This is the celestial. I love the mix you get with these. Right? They're dancing all over my paper. And then I'm going to add some white or blanco to get almost like a paint pour. You know I like that paint pour business, right? See how it's mixing and how it's kind of getting all, oh, look at that, with the white inside there. How fun is that? So I had to jump in here as quick as I could and share this with you because I think this is just too much fun. But let me remind you, a 10-piece pack of 5 by 7 Yupo paper is $10. So I'm going to put up here how much per sheet, and you'll see if that makes the bit of difference to you. Because actually, now that I'm staring at it, I don't see any. It's pearlescent. Maybe my heart wants to see a difference because I've been spending money on Yupo paper. <laughs> Could that be it to justify it? Now, this is, again, from the Dollar Tree. Um, overseas friends, if you from the United States overseas, um, maybe check out your local store for poster board, any like Walmart or anything, and see if your local poster board will work, because I think this is a game changer financially. <laughs> so anyway, I will show you the dried one again. This is the dried one. And that's it. Okay, I should also say that you can get Yupo paper for a little bit cheaper than $10 for the 10 pack. I think I found it cheapest was like $7.75 for the 10 pack. So just want to put that out there. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Don't forget to share it with all your crafty friends so that we could save as much money as possible. And until next time, I hope you guys all have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.